Thank you for using Victolic tools for Revit. I'm going to go over our ribbon. Uh, in particular, I'm going to be going over our pipe tools button. A lot of times, what I'll do is I'll take our ribbon, and you can pull it out of the um, pull it out and dock it on your screen, um, so it's always available. So if we go under pipe tools, we're going to select the first button here, pipe tools. Now, pipe tools is uh, two is really does two things. It uh, does pipe tagging and sequencing, and also does uh, pipe splitting. Uh, we're going to go over to pipe splitting first, and then we'll show how the sequencing and tagging works. Um, so with Revit, Revit will continue to draw a piece of pipe for to infinity. Um, you know, typically you buy pipe in 20 foot random lengths. Um, depending on your project requirement, maybe you can only get 10 feet lengths of pipe in, in your elevator or whatever your other restrictions are. So if we look at this piece of pipe, you know, as Revit drew it, it drew in a 36 foot, four and three quarter inch long piece mm -hmm. of pipe. So what I'm going to do is come into our pipe tools and select that. And on the right side here, I can see pipe length splitting. I'm going to leave this set for Imperial. My minimum length, um, I don't want a piece of pipe cut less than 0.5 of one foot, so six inches. So just keep in mind that these units are in feet. So 0.5 is obviously going to be six inches. And in this case, I'm going to use a maximum 10 foot pieces of pipe. We're not buying 20 footers in this case. I can come in here. I'm going to use the default coupling. Um, we can specify maybe we wanted flexible couplings for our runs or a different type of coupling or if you're building a flange system you can specify a different type of flange and uh, we're also going to leave this set to use non-connectors so if I come in here to split pipe now when I come over to the pipe you'll see that or when I come back to my 3d view you'll see that the uh, pipe has all been isolated, and when I come over and select a piece of pipe, you can see that I get a representation here of where the pipe's going to be split at this 10 foot. So this section here is the 10 foot long section. Now, if I want to start splitting from this end of the pipe, if I hover over the other end and select, you'll see the pipe is split from the other side. And now if I click this piece of pipe that's too short, nothing happens because it's that piece of pipe's not even 10 feet long. So I can do the same thing here. I can just come up, you know, in this case, I'm just going to simply go from one end to the other. But, you know, depending on your requirements, you may have to split your pipe from one end to the other. So you miss hangers and various other things in your project. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click cancel. And I'm going to click the close button. And you can see here all the pipes have been segmented into uh, into their individual lengths. So if I come in here, I can see my length is 10 feet now. So all my pieces of pipe have been broken down. Now, um, I can also tag and sequence my run too. So now to do that in Revit in a 3D view, you have to save and lock the orientation of the view. And that's down here. So now that my 3D view is locked, I can come back to the pipe tools button and on the left side is my pipe tagging. I can put a prefix in there, like P for pipe. And in this case, I'm not going to use it. Um, but my starting number, if I want to start it at 2 or 1, in this case, I'm just going to start my number at 1. And I'm going to set my format for two digits. Now, I'm going to include my tag. So as I select pipe, it's going to automatically sequence the pipe. And it's going to put the tags on. So the tag I like to use is, is a pill type tag. Um, and that's tied into uh, our VicMark parameter, which I'll show you when this is done. So now I specify the, the annotation family for tagging, and I click the Start Tagging button. Now when I left-click on each piece of pipe, you can see the tag is placed, and they're placed in sequence. So 5, 6, 7, 8, nine ten so the idea here is that when the installer goes to install the pipe they don't necessarily need to see the drawing they can just go one two three four five right down the run um, so basically all they need is the pipe and they're ready to go they don't have to even look at the drawings to know which pipe comes next 
Uh, typically in Revit, you'd have to do that manually. Now, what we do here is we, when this, when our tools run, we create a list of project parameters. They're shared parameters, so you can use those in uh, tags and schedules. Um, but what we're populating here is this Vic Mark tag. So, using our shared parameter file, you can create your own tags, or you can use one of ours. Um, but you can see here, this is tag five, and this date is in that piece of pipe. If I make that eleven you're going to see the tag changes so the tag in the pipe you know all the, it's all native revit everything's linked and connected and that's how our uh, pipe tools work thank you